Hey everybody, welcome back to another Gumball Review. In this episode, we're going to sh do a kind of hybrid episode, much like the episode I did with the Barbatars and my Supreme King Barbatars. This is the Loaded Stray Double Rebake slash Shadow Loaded Stray Gumball. This is originally a the Loaded Stray Double Rebake that I modded to make my own custom Gundam out of. I picked this up a couple of years ago and entered in my first Gumball contest with it. Like, out of a thousand people, I got, I think, a hundred out of it? I think. Something like that. It wasn't super high, but, you know, not dead last, so I'll take a W where I can get it. So, uh, let's get into the review, and I'll tell you what I did to this, and what originally was supposed to be part of it. So, the double rebake... The double rebake? Wow, I can't even speak. The Lotus Trade Double Rebake, yes, I was, was right, is supposed to be two Gumpla built into one. We have the long range form and the close range animalistic form. I honestly did not like the armor, so hence why I gutted it off of it. But if you did like the armor, you can buy it separately to make an all new Gumpla out of it or throw it back onto this guy and have the armor back. So there's that. But what I did to make it my own custom style is I repainted a lot of the leg pieces to make it of a instead of a light gray to a black. Or like I did for the arm pieces, which were supposed to be white, I painted them navy blue and give it a little bit of top coat to give it a white uh, sheen to it. Then I took the energy effects from the tribe slash sword trim them so they can fit into the slot here which was supposed to be the other end of you know this piece here which is supposed to have a little hand but I didn't really care for it so I moved it and I took the beam effects from I think one of my age Gundams I think it was the classic age one and put that here instead of the I don't think it came, came with beam effects so there's that and of course, I removed the back armor. I, there was supposed to be the whole animal form, and as right here, there's supposed to be a face, but I sanded that away and repainted it. And of course, I added the uh, the eye effects from the Barbatos, which I bought separately from eBay. Wasn't that expensive, but I wish it was cheaper. But aside from that, removing the armor really didn't affect the articulation too much. As you can see, it's a regular ball joint here. The arms can only go up so high because of the armor on the arms. Which is very interesting because it's very similar to musculature. Opposed to a lot of other Gundams. But that's the whole appeal of the Astray line. They have more of a humanoid texture to them, I guess. Or musculature to make them seem more humanoid. Compared to other Gundams who are just straight up machines. And have very mechanical looking parts. Other than, aside from that, the problem is that as it gets older, it gets harder to bend the arms, which is kind of a pain. But hey, if that's the only problem I have with this thing, I call it a W. Also, like I said, if you don't like the if you like the armor, it's great. But it did have a lot of hollow points to it. So, like, right here you can see clearly that this is just empty pieces of plastic. And that's what the original armor had a lot of. So it's kind of distracting. So, either you can fill that in, which I... If that's what you feel comfortable with, go ahead. But it could also damage it. So, be careful. It also came with wired weapon, uh, wired weaponry for long-range weapons and attacks, which is cool. But like I said, I didn't really care for the armor, hence why I made it this. So, if you can find one, get it. If you like a easier stray to customize, with no fuss, no muss, and a decent solid body, I say do it. But if you like, hey, if you like the animalistic hybrid comp transformation thing, also go for it. 
I know some people who love that stuff, and you know what? I don't front them. That's they like it. More power to them. So remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the links down below. Support the channel. You know, uh, from our buddies at Galactic Toys, they help out. And you know, click on that GoFundMe. Help me get me to my goal of getting the Testament Gundam, because that dude's expensive, and I need help getting him. <laughs> So I'll catch you guys in the next review, and like I said, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you real soon.